and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hello everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide, and today I'm going to be going over the brand new Solo Challenge Awards they just released, as well as a little bit of a review over the playoff promo. I'm going to be kind of mixing these two together. I didn't want to make them in separate videos, I didn't think they'd be long enough, so I'm going to put them together. Hopefully that works out a little bit better for you guys and your scheduling anyway, so you don't have to watch two of these. But, guys, they did announce last night on the A Twitter that they will be giving us another Team Captain token. I'm glad I said that right, I've been calling it Team of the Year Captain token all day for some reason. It was not coming out of my mouth properly. But, Team of the Year... I just did it. I, I just I just said it and I was gonna do it. Team captain tokens are always pretty awesome because they get us they get us upgrades for our cards, such as our Dallas Clark, our Ryan Chazier, our Herman Moore, and our Ty Law. I got them there. There we go. Although I usually forget at least one. So right now most people have like 94s, although some people have 95s because of that whole glitch that happened during the Zero Show promo that I sadly somehow missed by like 5.4 seconds. But it is pretty cool that we're getting an upgrade. Let's go check out the solos and go check everything out. Actually, I'm going to go show you guys Shazier real quick before I go into the solos. So my Shazier is looking pretty solid as it is. So on my team, he's 95. He's really 94, though. But I think this next upgrade is where his card art starts to change. Yeah, his card art finally changes after so long to this. This is where he's finally going to get like some... I think he finally gets... Yeah, his zone coverage will finally get to a 90, which is pretty solid if I don't ever use him. But there's... How many more upgrades are left from here? We got... One, two, three, four, five. Five more upgrades to 99. So we probably won't get his 99 to like, I'd imagine like March. March or April, probably we start getting his 99 card. But we're going to get to 95, which I think also does increase his, uh, no, no, I don't think it does. I think that's four is a 98 overall. No, not yet. I'm wrong on that. But still pretty cool. For all you guys on Herman Moore, Ty Law, and all of them, they're probably really cool looking too. I've never even thought about the idea of switching over to one of them at any point, which. I mean, I love my shades here, so I can't really debate that. Now, let's go over to challenges and go check out where the souls are. By the way, guys, before we get into the video, if you're into the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're like seven subscribers away from 17,000. So if you're watching this, everyone right now hit that subscribe button. That's hit 17,000, one of our next milestones. And then our next big milestone is 20K. So if we keep this going, we're on a great pace to get 17K, I mean, 20K pretty quickly. So let's hit 17K today. And if you're also here, make sure to like the video. Comment down below, Noti Gang, if you're here at 1030. I always appreciate each and every one of you that come out every day. Comment down below which you're, who you have your team captain, who is your team captain, and if you're excited for this, and as well as like the video. Can we get 250 likes on this 1030 video, guys? I always appreciate when you guys blow up the 1030 video because this video always isn't, isn't always the best one of the day. But for all you guys who come out early in the morning, because you guys have school and you guys are busy, so it's understandable. All right, guys, just to let you guys know, as you guys know, EA, or specifically Madden, that little side branch of EA, they are infamous. Very infamous. No, known for telling us content will be out at a certain time and then it not being out. Now, that is one of their greatest features as a Madden player, is what I've realized. Now, obviously, they cannot sell us the team captain token, so there's no reason for it to be out on time. So, if the team captain token could be on the store, like if they could sell a team captain token for a monetized value, like $5, it would, it would probably be out by now at 1030, but it is free. It does not by any means benefit them to give us a team captain token. So, there's no rush. So it's not out yet, guys. But I'm still making this video to let you guys know that it will be out today. So stay on the lookout for that because that will definitely be out at some point today. And when it is out, it'll be great. It should be in the NFL playoff solos. It'll be one of these right here. I don't know entirely which one it will be. Oh. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so it's here now. Now, this was, I promise you this was not here a few minutes ago. Wild card review. Earn a team captain token by beating the first wild card review challenge. Use the token to upgrade your team captain player. Team captain players currently max out at 95. Additional items will be available throughout the year. This does expire January 24th, so make sure you're playing this. I imagine January 24th is probably when the Super Bowl promo is going to start because that'll be the only reason why they'd want to get rid of the playoff promo solo. So make sure you're getting that done. Shouldn't take too long. You have to play four of them. Let's see. Uh, win the game. Tied in overtime. Oh, you're trying to play all the wild card moments this week. Okay. That's not bad. So it should take you no longer than like 20, 25 minutes max. Get this done. Get your free player. And that should be pretty easy to do. And then obviously go over to your player. Click on him. Upgrade him. Put the token in. Now, if you guys already have the 95 from the glitch, I wonder if we'll go to 96. So this will only work for 95s. Which would be pretty funny if they did that to negate all the people who actually did that originally. That, that, that's honestly a smart thing they could have done though. Make this so it only works for the 95 upgrade. So if you already did the glitch, you can't upgrade any further. Because it says they max out at 95 right now. So that'd be pretty interesting if that's exactly how it does that. But guys, 
that's about it for this part now let's go over my next thing that i have in this video which is that playoff review was the playoff promo worth it and you guys have to remember don't say it's still going on the playoff promo is done we still have some ltds we still have some solos but the bulk of the playoff promo like the most the biggest thing is the 12 heroes and the two masters so the solos solos were an l straightforward we thought we were getting a 395 we did not right there it was over solos were an l we don't want an 89 overall player so solos are gone the bet a good promo has three things a good nat reward whether it be from house rules or the edit or the solos a good a good a good reward two good masters or a, a good master set to do as well as some good top pieces for the master simple as that right now in solos with a good reward they struck out that hurts the promo a lot because for all you know money spent players and for all you madden players you guys know how important every every promo is when you get that one nap player not everyone has coins to buy a player every promo so that is important so right there that's a strikeout they lost out of the three categories they 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 lost a big category that's like 50 percent of it for me now come over to the afc champ bailing terrell owens i'm not gonna lie the masters are cool they hit they hit on the masters i like the masters terrell owens champ bailey awesome masters now as far as the Masters go, though, Champ Bailey's great. I think he's endgame. Terrell Owens is not endgame, but he's definitely great. I definitely like both of them. And the Master Set is cool, too. The Master Set, you get three back in that. It's just the way I like it. I have no problem with that. So they did hit on the sets. Sets hit. The sets hit right. The solos did not hit right. So now make or break is the players. Guys, I really don't think they hit on the players. I really do not think they hit at all. So think about it. Ronnie Stanley, Stephon Gilmore, Kelsey, Deshaun Watson, Tremaine Edmonds, Ken Bart. Name one player here. Actually, no. Wait, hold up. Let me rephrase this. All these players are now top overalls in the game. And I promise you, there is a better card every position. Kevin Bayard, rather have Sean Taylor. Jermaine Edmonds, rather have my Shazier, my Willis, my, my Bush. Watson, rather have Vic, Lamar Jackson, or um, Patrick Mahomes. Kelsey, rather have Tony G. Stephon Gilmore, rather have Dion, rather have Champ Bailey, rather have... Can't think right now. Ronnie Stanley, I'll give it to you. Ronnie Stanley, I do actually like. But Ronnie Stanley is no more special than the Anthony Munoz. Like he's just kind of—he's like an option. He's like a, a a substitute option. But don't get me wrong, Ronnie Stanley's fine. So out of all these players in this list right here, I think one of them is like I could I could I could honestly use that. I come over to NFC. We got Marshawn Lynch, D Ford, Devonta Adams, Drew Brees, Daniel Hunter, Brandon Brooks. Brandon Brooks again. Let's start from the top actually. Marshawn Lynch, way too slow to be a running back right now, Madden, considering we have Bo Jackson with like a 98 speed. D Ford. No block shed. Devonta Adams, too slow. Drew Brees, not mobile. Daniel Hunter is actually pretty good, but it doesn't mean I'd rather have him over Michael Strahan. Brandon Brooks, again, a one of the. It's sad, but the, it's sad, but the two best players in the in the playoff promo hero wise are two linemen, and that's only because linemen are like they're they're not flashy. You just need a lineman with good stats. That's it. Lineman with good stats equals usable card to run behind. It's as simple as that. There's nothing special to him. Brandon Brooks and Daniel Hunter are probably the only two good options here. So overall, I'm not a fan of most of the options. I think they really miss on the heroes. Now, the heroes' names are good. Their stats are not. Like, Marshall Lynch had, like, a 93 speed. Awesome card. Powered up. If you could power him, if you could power him up, right, let's say, and chemmed up. Maybe 95 speed, usable. D4, good block shed. Very athletic, usable. Devonta Adams, good speed. Awesome real-life receiver. Drew Brees. I mean, Drew Brees isn't horrible. I just don't think with the way the game plays that you could really use it like a pocket pass right now. Although on a Saints team, team by all means, the new Hunter's fine and Brandon Brooks fine. Now AFC, Stephon Gilmore, a little more speed, please. A 90, what is it like a 91 speed? Just a little more speed, just a little more. You give him a 93 speed, right? A 93, or 94 speed. Actually, no, give him a 93. Give him a 93 speed. I chem him up, I power him up, I end up with like a 94, 95 best cornerback in the game right there for it awesome travis kelsey give him a little more route running catching he's one of the better route running tight ends he's one of the better catching tight ends one of the fast tight ends he's slower than tony g he catches worse than tony g and he route runs worse than tony g it's just there's no there's no debate deshaun watson give him a power up you give this guy a power up and he's one but they know they know watson was a great job but there's no if they had a power up, he'd probably be the best quarterback in the game but they did not give him a power up Tremaine edmonds Decent. He just like does everything a linebacker should do decently. Nothing amazing. And then Kevin Bayard doesn't hit hard enough. There's there's free safeties like Dawkins who hit play zone and can run, not just run and play zone. So I'm telling you, like they, there was a deficiency with every car, which they kind of suck. Playoff promo overall. If I had to give it a rating on a one to ten, six, five, five actually. Six is too much. Five. 
and five only because the masters were cool and the set was cool that's it heroes were underrated well by underrated i don't mean like they're, they're better than they say they are they're under like their ratings are under where they should be they're not rated up to their standards in real life first and no nap player that's that's ridiculous every promo in my opinion from now on out should always have a nap player there are too many players who play this game on a daily basis not get rewarded with at least one nap player all your money spent guys are probably excited for your free 95 that it, it said and initially that's the worst part it told you initially you got a free 95 player and they changed it it doesn't hurt like literally it does not hurt madden to give you a free 95 world player it does not it does not it's a simple matter of coding send out i like, guess it's, it's that simple it does not cost them a dollar now the only way it costs them money is in terms of maybe if they give you a free 95 maybe you won't open packs for them just a very selfish way of thinking i know they make more than enough think about it all them all the stuff they say they sell to us in this game is virtual it does not cost them money to pr like to produce like yeah they have workers but that's always with the business they don't have to actually buy supplies and material to like build us virtual packs they make so much money off this program and this pro uh, i mean this game and this this game mode like they, they should easily be able to give us 95 guys that is about it for the video i'm not i'm done ranting five out of ten promo on the bright side, team of the year should be like an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. So I'm super excited for that, as well as playoff, Super Bowl, and honors. I'm always excited for those promos. Playoffs is never too great. But that's about it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. I'd greatly appreciate it if we could hit 17K after this video. As well as, can we get 250 likes in this video? And comment down below what your opinion on the playoff promo is and what is your review of it. Give me a, a rating from 1 to 10 what you guys think of it. But that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.